In February of 2016, we were hired to establish a hog control program on a farm in eastern Alabama. We used aerial photos and talked with the farmer to determine where to place our bait sites. Bait site 1 is already in place and is the subject of our trapping number 27 video. After conducting an on-ground recon, I chose the back corner of this long agricultural field for bait site number 2. This is far enough from bait site number 1 and is not likely to attract the same hogs. This location had numerous trails where the hogs were entering and exiting the field. It is also in close proximity to both water and a large track of heavy brush for bedding. The farmer had already attempted to trap this location with a corral trap made of cattle panels and a narrow tripwire activated root gate. We removed the panels left and right of the gate, then removed the gate assembly. Next, we installed an automated feeder and trail camera to begin the conditioning process. This sounder, consisting of two sows and approximately 12 juvenile pigs, began to use the feeder on 22 February. Note the three juveniles that appear white in this nighttime photo. They're actually red. We use individual pigs with unique markings to help identify different sounders. On 3 March, we removed the remaining cattle panels from the old corral trap. We installed the mine gate and six Jaeger Pro patented 1860 trap panels. Drove T-post every eight squares and secured the panels with the mine clips. Placed the camera and mounted the control box to the mine gate. I then hand baited from the feeder through the gate opening and in front of the gate. This will allow the hogs to feed near the gate and start their conditioning to the enclosure. On 4 March, the sounder arrived at 7.01. The juveniles were first and approached the new enclosure with caution. Later that evening, a large sounder arrived at the bait site for the first time. By the morning of March 14th, the large sounder of approximately 34 individuals had become very comfortable entering the enclosure. Observe the juvenile sleeping inside the trap. This is a good indication it is time to capture this sounder. Some extra bait was buried around the base of the feeder to ensure this large sounder would have plenty to hold them until they were all inside the trap. The sounder arrives at 819 and quickly files in the gate. After receiving this photo from the mine camera at 822, I sent the close gate command. When the gate drops, watch as the hogs test the entire enclosure. The design of the patented Jaeger Pro 1860 panels and mine gate ensure that no hogs, large or small, can escape. The sounder calms down and begins to feed within a minute. The smaller sounder appears outside the trap at 841. They stay near the trap until they hear us shoot four large boars out in the agricultural field. We arrive at the trap just after 10 o'clock. We approach the trap slowly with the high beams on. Most hogs associate the noise of vehicles and bright lights with bad things. The hope is that the small sounder will move off and not associate the trap with anything bad. We dispatch the sounder with a suppressed rifle inside the trap, then retrieve the four boars from out in the field. The hogs are photographed and that is collected. Seven days later, on 22 March, the small sounder returns to the trap at 1046. They are accompanied by a large boar hog. The sounder feeds inside the enclosure until 27 minutes after midnight. On 23 March, the sounder arrives at 9.56, and they return again at 2.31 on the morning of the 24th. The sounder arrives at 8.15 on the night of the 24th. After receiving this photo, the closed gate command is sent to the mine camera Ten seconds later, the gate is on the ground. We arrive on site at 1020. Using suppressed rifles, the hogs are dispatched inside the trap. The 
sounder is photographed and the data is collected. In this video, we have demonstrated how to properly implement the three-step Jaeger Pro capture success matrix. Step one, condition the pigs to trust the bait site as a daily food source. Step two, condition the pigs to trust the corral enclosure as a daily food source. Step three, implement the optimum trigger device to capture the entire sounder. The education level of each sounder will dictate the amount of time between steps. Intel gathered from photo and video observation of the bait site will let you know when it is time to move to the next step. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the methods and technology needed to better control feral pig populations in your area. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hall Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to send us a message through Facebook or email us at info at